Structuralism uh, was a, a way of, th of thinking that was developed. First of all, I think it was developed in linguistics and in anthropology. Um, the, when you study language or you study culture, one way to study it is by studying individual people, how they speak, or how they, they relate to each other, what rituals they have, and so on. The structuralists were uh, skeptical of some of those techniques in anthropology and linguistics. They were interested more in looking at s language as systems rather than language as a bunch of speakers. And so if you look at a language as a system, how does that system work, quite apart from who speaks it? Same about cultures. How does this culture work rather than how do these people act? So it was a sort of a radical uh, excision of subjectivity, an attempt to look at a system without thinking about it in terms of subjects who were enacting it. And um, that was a very successful movement for around the middle of the 20th century. Claude Levi-Strauss, who wrote the Structure of Kinship Systems, that was, that's a major work of structuralism and anthropology. Uh, and he was looking at the incest taboo, assuming that it was universal and that it gave structure to every culture, but it did gave different structures to different cultures. So in the, probably in the 60s, I guess, there start to be some new studies that suggest that um, this, this way of thinking about structure without thinking about People with seeing structures as sort of self-perpetuating, um, that there were some problems with that, and in fact, it was ridiculed to some extent as, as uh, you know, uh, universalistic, um, leaving out human play, the way we play with language, the way cultures, you know, invent. They don't stay timeless. There's, they change because of things people do, repetitions are never repetitions of the same, all kinds of stuff like that. So anyway, so Foucault and a few other thinkers began to call themselves post-structuralist because they were interested in structures, in self-organizing structures, much in the way that I was talking about self-organizing systems of materiality. They were interested in self-organizing structures, but they were also interested in the open-endedness, the play in the systems, the, the changeability, the, the, the points at which systems of language or systems of, of, of culture, systems of power, systems of government, whatever it might be, the point at which those can break down and alter, transform dramatically. Whereas the structuralists just kind of assumed that structures were relatively stable and relatively universal. The post-structuralists began to say, yeah, the structures are really interesting, but we also see them falling apart. And so Foucault's early work, not his very earliest work, but his, his pretty early work, the stuff he became famous for in the 60s, was looking at the collapse of, or co collapse is too strong a word, the, the, the sudden reconfigurations of linguistic structures economic structures and, bio, and uh, uh, natural structures, systems. Um, and so he wrote this book called The Order of Things, and it's really about how orders can, at certain points, just reform themselves. Um, and he, to his surprise, he thought he was writing a very, a book with very limited appeal. <laughs> it's erudite. Uh, to his surprise, it was it was a very big seller in France, and it ended up getting translated into a lot of languages.